Yeah. What would you say actually separates what the Chinese medicine thing you do and dry needling? So dry needling, from what my understanding is, it's mostly like they kind of find the trigger points. So like you have a sore elbow, they'll like needle around that. Whereas I'm trying to grasp not only like Obviously, I'm going to pinpoint the pain, but I want to know what's causing it as well. Yeah. So, it could be an injury, it could be underlying things as well. So, if I'm needling that area, yeah, it's going to help. But if that pain's going to keep coming back, there's something deeper going on at a different level. Yeah. So, I need to use acupuncture points or herbal medicine to fix that because it could just be an imbalance in your body. Like, I know someone who. Um, kept getting like mm -hmm. um, shoulder pain it was some sort of pain I can't remember and there was no reason for it there was nothing work related nothing gym related nothing like that the Chinese medicine doctor he went to was like go go get a scan go check your liver out turned out he had liver cancer sure. and it was a it was showing as a physical pain mm -hmm. do you know what I mean so it's like looking into that deeper level trying to find what that reoccurring Especially if it's a reoccurring pain for no reason. Yeah. You know, in the gym, it's very easy for you to have like reoccurring pain because you're constantly straining your muscle. Yeah. It's a different concept, right? Mm -hmm. But for other things, it's it could be a deeper level. A lot of people don't know that I can treat like internal things that I can't see insomnia, stress, depression, yeah. menstrual cycles, pregnancy. So many things like that. People are like, oh, you can do that. I'm like, yeah. Like what acupuncture is not just a physical thing. It's not just for your muscles. It's for like literally your mind, your body, mm. everything to realign. So you would say that like dry needling only targets the physical side of a, the of the whole person, where yes, what you're more, doing is going through like is you're actually targeting the whole person as a whole, like as a whole. Correct, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what my understanding of dry needling is. <laughs> it's pretty much like local points, mus muscle related, whereas I'm using actual acupuncture points. You have your meridians, you have your channels, and you're using that to help heal the person. Mm. Yeah. That's mad. Yeah, well, it's well, different. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to... um. Even me, like when I was learning in uni, my first year of uni was like basically all theory. And we were literally learning like yin and yang and chi. Like I watched Kung Fu Panda 3 and it was like literally what I learned. <laughs> like about chi and stuff. Like that's that's the only way, that's how I describe it to people. Because I'm like, if you've seen Kung Fu Panda 3, they go deep into about what chi is and how it flows through your body and blah blah blah. And that's literally what we learned. So to grasp that concept after like growing up in such like a western medicine society like yeah. the thing about Australia we're very like western medicine right yeah. I didn't even know my degree was a course until I saw it and I was like oh sounds interesting let me try it so you know to come from like a western medicine thing to grasp like yin and yang and chi and mm. like flowing through your body you sound like a crazy person <laughs> so, you would say, like, <laughs> so uh, like I feel like you need open minded people like when you explain it, the person has to be very open-minded yep. or a lot of people come to acupuncture as their last resort. They've tried everything else, they've tried medications, they've tried this, they've tried that. It's either not worked or like they don't want to be on medicine forever. Yep. And then they try acupuncture or herbal medicine and then they're like, oh wow, like I feel a difference. More than just the physical, but would it be on the spiritual sense? No. Or just um, underneath that, like the... Soul? Yeah, like, I don't know about like spiritual, I feel like spiritual is a very like personal thing, everyone has like their own spiritual journey, but in terms of like realigning, like like I said, the whole thing of yin and yang yeah, is wouldn't like, it be like realigning balance, right? Your energy? Yeah, pretty much. So like if you're, if you're more healthy in a realigned way, if mm. your body, if your body is balanced, you're more likely to be like more spiritually aware. Yep. In whatever, like you're, like how you, however you are spiritually aware, everyone does it differently. Okay. Yeah, because obviously your mind is healed, your body is healed, so you're more at a, like a stable place. Yeah. To be able to like, like you know, everything has to be in balance. Yeah. Like I feel like spiritual, 
Spirituality? Spirituality? Yeah, I don't know why I can't say that. But yeah, it's a big thing. It's so cold Hello. everywhere. It's cold. Look, it's warming me. It's warm. It's warm. So, what'd you say that? Chinese medicine targets the soul. Mind, will, and emotion. As huh? an emotion? No, mind, will, and emotion. Because that's yeah, what the soul is. Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. There's lots of, like, lots of things on, like, things with, like, depression or any issues. Like, for, for example, like, when I can see someone that's very frustrated or angry all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> frustrated or angry all the time. Like, my first thought is they have a liver cheese stagnation. Because is, that, is that me? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't, you don't think you're that angry. I don't know why you think you are. I'm good at hiding it, trust me. Yeah, but like, um, that's why like a question I ask a lot of my patients is like, oh, have you had any like random emotions? Like, mm. and they'll be like, oh, you know, been weirdly like, I've been getting frustrated recently. Like, I don't know why, I just keep getting heated over things that I don't usually And I'm like, in my head straight away, I'm like, liver cheese stagnation. Because each like organ yeah. has a related emotion. So like your liver shows like if there's like if you have something like it doesn't mean you're it's physically wrong with your liver, but like in Chinese medicine sense, if there's something like going on there, it it um, shows as like anger. That's proved to be like correct, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, as close as Western medicine. But see, yeah. this is the thing. It's so hard to like prove it or explain it from a Western mm. medicine concept because. Like, you know, yeah, I don't know, yeah, but, but it's ancient you, medicine. But wouldn't your practices like prove it's correct? Like, with yeah. your patient? Like, but, like, all right, you got everything, everything, Depre everything needs like a Western medicine explanation. That's why it's a bit like hard. Uh, to some people, to yeah. some people, not all people. Same yeah. as, like, um, for example, um, people, adrenaline junkies, mm -hmm. heart deficiency. They uh -huh. can't, <laughs> adrenaline junkies, yeah. they, they have like a heart deficiency. Because they can't feel joy or emotion. So joy is the emotion of the heart. They can't feel joy or emotion without doing something that's like going to kill them or almost kill them. Because when, if you think about it, anything, anything adrenaline like yeah. like is like you're you're almost about to die. Jumping out of a plane, bungee jumping. I don't know what else these people do. Do another one. Do another organ. Do yeah, another like, organ. <laughs> like do you know what I mean? Like yeah. So that's like 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 a heart deficiency. Yeah. Like your for some reason your heart isn't like just doesn't want to do what it wants to do it doesn't mean anything physically is wrong with your heart it just means like you know you just don't feel joy like a normal person like i see food and i'm like yeah <laughs> like, maybe my heart's in overdrive like, yeah so yeah it's interesting that's what i do Shouldn't. That's why I like. That's why I like clients. So yeah, she'll come in mellow. You saw Cody. Yeah. So we, um, I did a session with Denzel, and then our mutual mate came after him. Yeah. Anyway, Denzel, we were just all talking in the room, and Cody does not shut up. Like a million times, like blah, 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 like this. Okay, that's yeah. how he talks. I stuck a needle in his forehead, which is like the ultimate point to like relax someone. Okay. And you should he just mellowed out. Like he started slowing down his words. How can you can do that to me? He was still talking. I probably could. I probably could. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah. But like yeah, he started slowing down his words, he started relaxing. I think he almost wow. fell asleep at yeah. one point. Like And what are you doing when you're doing that? Nothing. You're just putting the needles in different yeah. places or Yeah, like different places. Well that one was like literally just to relax him. Okay. But he literally like, stopped talking too. He, he like, literally stopped talking and he started like mellowing out. Wow. <laughs> Even Denzel was like Whoa! <laughs> I have a witness. Maybe they to come and see for my stresses. Yes. Yeah. Sure. I keep needles in my car now, so if oh, you ever too stress, I just come here. Yeah. Should do it. I swear. I keep needles in my car. And I keep a water bottle to put the thing? needles in. Yeah, you can actually. Yeah, she does I, oh my gosh! Yeah, I don't know. During lockdown last year, most of my clients were pregnant ladies. Well, because there was nothing else to there do. There was nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was wild. I even bought like one of those long pregnancy pillows because I was getting so many pregnant clients. Wow. So I was like, I need to invest for these ladies. But yeah, yeah. They, they were my favorite clients. Yeah, They're so cute. We'll, we'll do it. Yeah. Set aside some time. Set aside some time.